Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, July 25. It's the feast day of St. James the Apostle, who was the brother of John and the, who were the sons of Zebedee. The scriptures for this service, Psalm 34 and Mark chapter 1, verse 14 to 20. And please join with me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. <clears throat> we are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we Almighty Maker to your name. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I bless you at all times, your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. Psalm 34 together. Alleluia, I bless you at all times, your praise always on my lips. My soul boasts in you, the humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, glorify the Most High with me, and let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. We looked upon you and were enlightened, and our faces were not ashamed. I cried out, and you heard me, and you saved me from my troubles. Your angel encamps around those who fear you, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions suffer lack or lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek you, my God, shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of God Most High, who among you loves life and wants many days to enjoy it. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of God are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. Your face, O God, is against them that do evil, to remove their memory from the earth. The righteous cry, and you hear, <clears throat> and you deliver them from all their troubles. You are close to them that are brokenhearted, and save those who have a contrite spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but you deliver them from all their afflictions. They keep all their bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, <clears throat> and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You redeem the lives of your uh, servants, and none that trusts in you shall be punished. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, beginning at verse 14. Now, after John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. And as Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And as he went a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. 
And immediately Jesus called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men, and followed him. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church in the world. And please respond, hear our prayer. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of James and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's sing together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Look down from your heaven, O God. And have mercy on us, your humble servants, for you are our help and our shield, and we place all our hope in your tender mercies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Amen.